All right, guys. So welcome, welcome, everyone. We are live in the Chaos Cup. If you don't know, this is the tournament which is actually about to finish. There is only the grand final left, and right now we are watching the match for the third place between E and ETX Titans. So best of luck to both teams, and we have Dark on top opening here with the E Dragons. We will find out if this match will be about the time or actually we're gonna see some defenses we already opening the walls where the queen going oh yeah yeah she's about to join the e dragons that's not what he really want he want her to follow the king so that way she can go and reach the eagle but right now she's on the wall luckily the e dragons clear some buildings there so that way the queen going now back to the correct way e dragons are now reaching the core of the base with the blim we already took down the town hall but the poison is still there Mono it's still up, E-Dragon is now taking a lot of damage, not just Mono, but also we have the Scattershot and also this Infernos. He decided to go with the Royal Champion into the Monolith, as he now being chased by the Skellies, but the combination with the Fox making the Royal Champion invisible, so that way the Skellies were away. Now we have no E-Dragon left, we fit, oh, clear, sorry, 75% of the base, so now this is still very depends on the heroes. So the trap being triggered guys he lost the fox that's bad this is actually hold dark on top will be hitting two star and sadly this one is not that high percentage like it is like getting above 80 percent wow okay so i guessing now we don't have to be worried about the time anymore you know we're just gonna focus and maybe gonna see some like chill nice attacks but good try by dark on top yeah i will be happy with the defense are uh, definitely okay we have achilles so he's gonna be as the first attacker for ea all right zap is zap almost got a sweeper i don't know if he meant to get a sweeper but i guess so yeah anyway he has a hero dive coming in here so already king with the ability also using the frozen arrow on the queen we will have hawk puppet and haze on the royal champion starting here with the loon so uh, right now the queen will be uh fighting the ice golems and maybe no well, maybe not i was thinking she can uh, grab the scatter shot but if the cannon will be still hitting her, probably not. So Warden ability also protecting a bunch of the loons, but especially the blimp, so he can make it for the town hall. Sweeper, which we didn't zap, uh, pushing the blimp away, but still landing over the town hall, so good job. Now the Yetis are over the town hall, clearing the town hall. Few loons tr uh, triggering the tornado trap next to the monolith. They should be able to clear the mono. Yeah, they do. Okay, not bad. Scatter should sadly still survive, so the bold guy gonna be fixing it. Royal Champion now joining the loons from 12 o'clock. So I also had Hunter there. Uh, we still have to fight the enemy king here. Uh, we will have still many defenses which actually can kill these loons. Ars is luckily going kind of around the base, so she's right now ignoring the king. She's going for the multi arch tower, but his loons are gone. So now we really depend again on the heroes here. We saw that it is titan had a uh, two star can achilles hit the three fire i don't think so that rc has the shield oh sorry has the ability here so she's going with the haze and hopes how strong is this now right now she's fighting the enemy king enemy king got her so we have only hoggy is alive but the scatter shot we're gonna hit this hogs boom poof and they are gone it is hold we have second defense here whoa this is something new. <laughs> you don't like the swing? Mm. Oh, Hawk. Finally, the scatter shot being clear. Yeah, did some balance happen or what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's happened 96% two star okay so we are tied on the stars EA has percentage lead all right we have Shikari King let's see so far both teams with the high percent two stars but no triples so it's still anyone game if you are joining you are watching the chaos cap and this one is a match for the third place 
Uh, we have Shikari King coming with the Zap Lalo, also bringing few super barbs here. Alright, Zap is up. So go the Cannon and the Inferno. Hi Ghost, hello. Starting now with the hero, so we already deploying the Queen with the Frozen Arrow. Hawk Puppet and Shield on the Royal Champion and guess a uh, Giant Gauntlet on the King. Alright, so we have Ice Golem stepping in. Right now the Exbo is log on the King. King going for the enemy Royal Champion. We start pulling the CC. Ice even with the shield, so boom, boom, boom. And sadly not that much value with the Hoggies because the Poison Spell Tower got activated on the Icy and of course the Hogs took so much damage. I don't really like the, uh, that much value of the Icy. She died very fast and she pulled the CC here. She cleared like bottom side of the base here, but it's, I don't know. It's gonna be still a lot of work for the Lalo. We're now gonna switch the target, so she will be fighting the Ice Golems. Luckily, nothing is hitting her, so she's kind of safe there, and she still have Unicorn with her. King went outside of the base. Moves being deployed. Blim on the way for the Town Hall. We have Banaloon going back for the air defense. Deploying another set of the loons from 12 o'clock. Town Hall staying up, Yetis are far away, now Yetis coming back, finishing the Town Hall, Yeti mines some of them landing over the monolith, we have enough rules to finish the mono, clearing some of the Teslas, now Finn is in the range of Tingle Inferno, so that's kind of forcing her to use the ability, this is gonna be 3 star, he has all 1 minute 20 seconds, with the freeze spell, can freeze final defenses, and actually still have one lava up, luckily the second one pops, so we have more cleanup troops, so nicely done by Shikai. King triple is in for ETX Titans. GG. Minions not max. It's still fine. They're just clean up troops. You want this with also defense? What? A one defense is like already something amazing. Oh. Alright, Hero is live with the Zap Lalo as well. So we just saw uh, ETX Titans with the triple where they use Zap Lalo. Let's see how Hero will do. He actually bringing two Ice Hound. So immediately sending the King. King finding the Tesla farm or some of the Teslas front of the multi Inferno. We are using the Ice Golem here, which will be tanking most of the defenses for the Queen here. And of course, checking with the Giant, you know, just in case if there is any Spring Trap. So that way we don't lose the Ice Golem that early. King now pulling the CC troops, so again we will be fighting against three enemy Ice Golems. Queen is on the egg bow, what she can reach. She can go for the scatter shot and also can go for the cannon. She will be using the ability any second. Royal Champion stepping in, so we have Haze and the Hawk puppet on her. Right now she's chasing the skelly, so she kind of go away from the multi, but she should go back. More than ability being used right now, so Blim on the way. I think so the Icy got catch uh, with the water as well. Well, could be wrong there. Alright, so freezing around the town hall, the Yeti might doing some damage. There's also enemy a hero nearby. Moons, the group of them landing over the eagle. We still have Ice Hound at 12 o'clock. Now we are going through the poison with the most of the hoggies. And also they are triggering the giant bombs into the tornado traps of Ripperoni, Macaroni for the hoggies and the RC. But actually the queen is still alive and she's grabbing another set of the buildings inside the core of the base. Hero Royal Wolves gonna have enough power to finish this base, guys, and EA will be hitting the triple as well. So nicely done, that means we have we are tied on the stars, but EA has the percentage lead here against ETX Titans. No one is using the fireball. No. Fireball is too slow in this meta. For fireball, I what I think you need kind of setup. Hi Fibroka, hello. Hi Penur, welcome in. Come on, welcome as well. Thank you very much guys for joining. Thank you, thank you. I think so, they have more than enough practice this weekend, no? <laughs> like EA was playing way too many matches. EA, Synchronic and Star Wars, jeez. They had a long, long weekend. All right, we have Danny going in. 
So we still have very close war. Both teams are still tied on the stars. Danny coming in here with the Zap Lalo. Ice Golem sadly hitting early spring trap, but actually still freezing uh, some of the stuff around. Headhunter did some hit on the enemy queen, but after I got killed by the cannon. Queen looks like will be following the king, so she should be able to reach the multi inferno and also probably dealing with some of the CC troops. We only pull like a few archers, so there is still some enemy clan castle troops, which we haven't pulled. Second super wall breaker on the way, queen going back for the archers. Now three eyes going coming out. We also deploying the royal champion. Poison on the ice golems, queen is down. see with the shield boom 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 she's reaching the eagle let's see if she can also get a monolith blim on the way for the town hall there's also a few tesla in front of the multi inferno i see nicely done taking out the mono but the giant bomb definitely gonna hide plus there is another giant bomb she triggered and of course the poison so we are losing the royal champion and same fox but daddy has enough loans again Finishing this up base, so very nicely done with the Titan with the second triple, so actually we have quite a lot of Lalo attacks, right? Like there was no root rider hit yet. So far we saw one attack with the E-Dragons and I think the rest of the attacks were a Zap Lalo. So GG. Like again, he has another Lava still up. In the previous time we would like kind of wanted Lava Pop so we can speed up this attack for sure. Okay, Titans with the second triple. Maravi is in. It's uh, I think with the E Dragons. Okay. Double Rage. Slammer with the E Dragons. Rosa, we are trying to also funnel. Already has the king and the queen in the action. Slammer is getting close to the town hall. And some of the dragons which got pulled by the enemy king. Freezing around the town hall here. Let's get rid of these infernos. Okay, freezing now around the monolith. Town hall is still there. Come on, town hall being now clear. Uh, super dragon came out from the siege barrack. Oh, siege barrack. From the slammer, sorry. Uh, Warden helping to sniping the air defense, but after he... Oh, poor guy. Pulling the seeking air mine. King now using the ability. We still have queen uh, right behind. Uh, not... Whoa! Like no, not nothing special with the abilities on the queen. Interesting. Asi coming in from 12 o'clock. There's still a bunch of defenses here. All right, Asi being chased by the skellies. Asi will have to go with the ability. So boom, 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 with the shield. She doesn't have a fox anymore. So Ripper only for the royal champion. We still need the help of the king, queen, and maybe even these e-dragons because there is multi inferno behind the walls. I think so he is fine because there is only like two defenses left and he still have queen with the ability here. So nice job by Maravi. It is three star. Oh, queen, she ignored the eagle. <laughs> she come back. It was just uh, about the time. <laughs> what? Anyway, we have Sikander going in. And it is first attack with the Rude Riders and Valks. Whoa, we find the dead slots. Right behind enemy warden, Flameflinger coming in from the 9 o'clock corner. King already funneling one of the corners. We're gonna start pulling the CC troops. Triggering some giant bombs. Gigantic King showing up. Flameflinger still moving. I actually feeling like all his Rude Riders are dead. Oh yeah, they are. Rude Riders Valk's dead. He still has spell, like he has Warden, he has heal. But right now he used the Warden ability only on the heroes. Oh, this is not good. Oh my. Okay, so he got the double thanks to the also failing, by the way. He lost the Royal Champion. He has not many troops left. Queen, what she's using, healer puppet. Okay, so she's gonna have three healers to showing up. 
So the Ripperoni for the healers. This is hold. He was way too patient with the ability of the water. Even had the heal spell, which he didn't use. All his root riders with the bugs die inside the core of the base. And this is now defense. Hello. No. There are defense, I know. 73% two star. Really scared to me. It scared to me not here. Alright, so we have Rigo going in. Alright, so he's coming in here with the dragons, e-dragons, and we will have recall. We can still watch Yata. Nah, it's gonna take me forever to set it up. Alright, dragons are in. So he just like kind of used the queen to funnel the small corner here and recall her immediately. Right now the dragons are split into the two groups. Ward and chilling with the group on the bottom side of the base. Plummer now patting slowly towards the town hall. He's investing the raid cell there. King and queen are right behind. They're also pulling some of the seeking air, uh, air mines. Tornado trap being triggered next to the town hall. Two e dragons are there as well. Town hall being clear. What abilities we are using on the queen? We have healer puppet on the queen. Queen is on the monolith. We still have buildings inside in the core of the base. Did we pull the CC troops? The clan castle is still there. He hasn't deployed the royal champion. He's sending the headhunter to pull the ice golem, so he kind of bringing the ice golem towards the queen, and that way he can send the royal champion, a kind of without fighting the ice golems. Two e dragons still alive. Queen now being locked on the ice golems and the skellies. He had two priests and invades, so coming in here with the royal champion, she will be going straight into the multi inferno. Right now, Queen is not being hit by anything, so she still can handle it. He's using the invades, but the RC is chasing the skellies. RC with the shield and the E Dragon with the chain. That was cool. That was really cool. And Ringo hitting OP to restart her. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay, they don't using the camera. So I guess not everyone is using camera. Alright, ITP Blake. Final attacker for ETX Titans. Pros making E Dragons fun again. I really like that when the, he used the RC shield and the E Dragon chain. Like there was like a bunch of buildings just poof, disappearing. Oh my, poor black. Uh, his ice golem finding the early spring trap, so almost no value with the ice golems there, sadly. Uh, he's sending few headhunters to fighting the, against the enemy king. Queen maybe will be following. Now he is uh, pulling enemy ice golems here. <sighs> he sent a super wall breaker, but the super wall breaker opened this wall because there is archer tower still. He has haste on the royal champion. I don't know, this is messy. The star didn't really work, work well for him. Icy is now sitting inside a poison. She took down the scatter, but she lost the fog. 
uh, Lulz going in. Yet he took down the town also, but good job. Uh, Icy again back to fighting the Skelly. Um, looks like the Icy has now uh, even Biggie nearby. Royal Champion is now on the Monolith. He's freezing around the uh, multi and also the Sweeper here. So that way the Lulz not being pushed away. Ice is still trying to help, he even lost the ward and tornado trap, lose bunch of red bombs, double giant bomb, jeez, lot of traps, this is defense, isn't it? What is happening? I recognize they don't have a defense, Wolves have gone, enemy queen is still there, ETX titans hitting 12 stars. The queen, yeah, like the start of the attack didn't uh, go well for him. Even the ice golem sitting the early spring trap. How many he sent? Like two. All right, let's go. Yata is live. This is the final attack for EA. EA got this, so they don't have to be worried. Why Yata is using the root riders? Where are the bowlers coming in here with the queen charge root riders? Alright, so we have a bunch of wall breakers opening the first layers of the wall. They have to keep eyes on the enemy warden. It's hitting his screen. Max level of the frozen arrow. And jeez, the attack is jamming. Max level of the haze and the hawk puppet. Alright, Flamefinger still um, keep moving. Queen start pulling the CC troops. She's standing in front of the monolith, so he's also using the poison and freeze there. Uh, King going on the wall. Okay, that's bad wall, King. But I hope so that the Rudrider right, now opening the wall and the kind of King gonna be joining them. He's using the rule sending for the X bow, not bad uh, play there. Alright, Rude Riders, Warden ability being uh, used right now, so all Rude Riders being protected. Queen finally finishing the final Ice Golem. I, uh, super minions from the Barak, or Flamefinger, sorry, taking down the enemy Queen. I don't know why I keep saying Siege Barak. Alright, keep freezing. That's not bad freeze. This one is even better. Poison Spell Tower being triggered, Tower being clear. Queen is still keep moving. Rudrider is taking some damage because of the, of course, the poison. But we still have Royal Champion with the abilities. Queen taking out the cannon. Yata doesn't have to be worried about time. He still has plenty of spells, by the way. Rage, Freeze, and Invis. He's using now Hawk Puppet with the haste. Even the Invis is kind of swag because Royal Champion left that Invis spell, uh, Invis spell very, very fast. We lost the Royal Champion. We are down to the Queen. Okay, what's happening? We have 50 seconds left. This could be possibility of the Tampa. He needs Queen to be so smart and go for the Expo. Come on, Queen. Oh, okay, he doesn't have smart Queen. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Look at her. Oh my goodness, she's going correct way. Go, 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 Queen. Go, go, go. Wizard on the drill. Queen going for the Expo. Oh, Ripperoni for the healers. They found every air trap. 25 seconds. I think Yata will be town failing here. Storage is full HP and of course Queen decided to go for the storage first. Now she's sniping the multi archer tower. Yata, this is way too close. <laughs> oh my, but he is hitting the three star and EA taking a W here against ETX title. Congratulations. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> Almost defense, almost 14 to 12. So you guys were watching the match for the third place of the Chaos Cup. EA earning the W. It takes Titans will finish fourth in this match.